Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a really cool trick um, that I learned the other day. Um, it's if you're ever in a situation where you want to get to someone's code in the Visual Basic Editor, but you don't know their password, um, and you, yeah, she just locks it down. What this will do is actually you'll be able to then view the Visual Basic code. First of all, open the project, and what it's very important that you save it as. I'm going to put this on my desktop. It's very important that you save it as an Excel 97 2003 workbook as it's already selected, but you might have to drop it down so you go there, like workbook. Save that and replace the existing one. Okay, so that's now saved. Um, I would recommend doing that anyway to make a copy of the original file because if you do use it in the hex editor and something goes wrong, you will corrupt the original workbook. Okay, so now what I need to use is I need to go and find my hex editor. So I've got mine stored as an application, XVI32. I'll give you the link to that in the um, in the comments field. So what I'm going to need to do is open the new what document that I stored onto the desktop. There, like for loop, okay. Ah, sharing violation, shut it down. Square, so let's go back into open it. Okay, as you can see, I'm just extending the full screen. This is the section where you need to search for a specific text string. So I'm going to press Ctrl and F. I want it as a hex string, I want it as a text string. I was actually going to untick case sensitive in case I make a mistake, but the text you're looking for is D Delta Papa Bravo. Click OK. It's purely as simple as saving it to X. So you change the B to X. So now I'm going to save that. Close it down. Reopen my document, and an, and an error message will appear. The project file da, 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 contains invalid key DPX. Continue loading project. Click yes. Right. Okay. So here, it's very important that you go into the Visual Basic, basic Editor. So Control and uh, um, Alt F. It will come up with that a few times. Unexpected error because we've changed the code. So what you need to then do is go to Visual Basic Properties in your Visual Basic Editor by right clicking on the project that you want to uh, open. And as you can see, this is my project. Protection, lock project from viewing. You can either toggle with that, but what is important is you set a new password. I'm going to put 1234 as my new password. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to hit save again. Then I'm going to exit out and reopen. Okay, so now if I go Control F11 again, this will be locked down. But now I'm about to auto um, enter my defined password, which is one two three four. As you can see, this unlocks the project. All the codes contain in sheet one. So then you can copy the code as you will. Um, I just thought that was a cool trick. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks guys, see you next time.